नोपुनक्तु सहवीर्यम करवावाई तेजस्विनावधीतमस्तु माविद्विशावाई ओम शांति 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 Keep the eyes closed, join the hands at back of the body, go down to the Mother Supreme Earth. Inhale, come back up, rub the palms against each other, generate urja, make them warm. Place the warm hands over the eyes and face. Open and close eyes few times under the palms in dark. Slowly slide the hands down, gently open the eyes. And we will start the session with light exercise, Sukshma Vyayam. Both palms 90 degree up, 90 degree down. Try to keep the arms still up to the wrist joint, parallel to the floor. And alternate few times. Then make tight fist and release the fingers, spread them apart. Now hold the fist, roll them forward. Try to keep the elbow straight. And few times reverse or the backward direction. Now swing the arms, hold at the elbows, inhale up, exhale down. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Connect all the fingers together over the shoulders, spread them apart on the floor. And few times sideways. Now hold all the fingers together over the shoulders and make biggest circle possible. Inhale up, exhale down. Few times, make sure elbows touch once each other, every rotation and reverse. And relax. Now connect the grab the elbows over the head. Inhale as we exhale. Pull it on the one side. Inhale in the center. Exhale onto the other side. Feel the full stretch on the shoulders. One more time. Extend both hands sideways, inhale. As we exhale, just swing the whole straight arm onto the one side and lock with the other folded hand. Inhale again, extend, exhale onto the other side. We will do second time, we're gonna twist our body and continue pushing it towards back. Try to twist on that side. Inhale back, exhale onto the other side, as much as possible, and back. Now extend both hands sideways, turn the palms 90 degree up, and we will make a circles. Circle the hands around the shoulders, small and steady circles. Make sure we are pushing the hands back as well. 
otherwise it might not be the perfect circle. And reverse direction. And relax. Now inhale, raise both hands up. Exhale, twist onto the one side. Look back, align chin with the shoulder. Keep pushing the knee forward. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the other side. Try to keep the trunk straight. We are just twisting. Inhale, come back. Let's do one more time on both sides. Try to stay at least five seconds in a pose. Now look straight at the level of the eyes, both hands on the knees. Shoulder blades, trunk will remain completely still. Inhale. As we exhale, just turn the head onto the right side. Align the chin with the right shoulder. Try to look farthest point in the back. Hold breath out about five seconds. Then start inhalation and start bringing the head towards front. Continue onto the other side as we exhale. Now align the chin with the left shoulder. Look back. Five seconds. Come back. Make one more trip on both sides. Do with full breath coordination. Feel the full stretches into the neck joint. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale again. Then inhale. As we turn the head onto the up. Exhale down. Chin at the chest. Second time. Inhale up. Exhale down. Then we will make a circle. Inhale onto the right side in circular fashion. Turn the head all the way up, then exhale. Turn the head towards left side. Bring the head down. Also, if we try to look the farthest point into the back, we probably going to make one imaginary circle behind us. Total three circles. Inhale on right, exhale on to the left. If you have a neck injury, neck pain, do it slowly or you can try to avoid it then reverse the circles inhale on left then exhale on right just the neck and head Okay, once completed, then interlock the fingers, place the palms over the forehead, deeply inhale, hold the breath, as we push head and palms against each other. Release the breath, release the palms, again inhale, hold the breath, as we press the head with the palm from the back of the head. Same time, try to push the elbows backward. One more time, front of the head and back of the head. Then side of the head, alternatively, both the sides. <coughs> Let's 
to the bend onto the sideways. Inhale, drop the palms vertically down onto the floor. Exhale, bend sideways, keep looking up into the ceiling. Make sure the knees should not go up. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the other side. Come back second time. And come back. Then we will sit in L shape, pole pose, dandasan. Legs are fully grounded, knees straight. Try to pull the toes inward for a few seconds. Then squeeze and release all the toes. You can do in waves or you can do all toes together. As we inhale, push all toes together forward as much as possible, keeping the legs grounded. Exhale, pull them back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Few times. Then few times alternate. One pull, one push. Now circle the toes around the heels, all the toes together, try to make the biggest circle possible and reverse. Now fold at the right knee, interlock the right toes with the left hand fingers, push the right knee down. To the floor, try to touch the floor if possible, then just use the palm to bring the knee to the chin, inhale pressing down to the floor for a couple of seconds, exhale bring knee to the chin, two to three more times on the same side. Then straighten the right leg, fall at the left knee, interlock the left toes with the right hand fingers, then push the left knee down to the floor few times, create the spring action, make the hip joint more flexible, increase the blood circulation, increase the energy level. Now bring the knee to the chin. Inhale, press it down to the floor. Exhale, bring knee to the chin. Total four to five times. Okay. Once completed, then we will do Titli Asan Butterfly Pose. We can align the feet, interlock the fingers, place the fingers over the toes and thumbs will go directly under the big toes. Inhale, raise both knees all the way up. Exhale, push them down to the floor. Inhale up, exhale down and we can speed up, start flapping. We can even raise the knees a little bit higher to create momentum. So from butterfly, we will transition into Bhaddasan or Bhadrasan. So stop flapping, 
Now pull the hills inward. So hills as close as to the perineum. Now sit straight. Deep breath in. Hold the breath about 7 seconds. During the hold time, keep pressing the knees down, holding the back straight. We can close the eyes also and we can pay full attention at the hip joints, the pelvis area for the extra stretches. So do two to three more rounds of breath in, hold into the lower abdomen. Just be aware of the pressure on the knees, back straight and extra stretches into the pelvis joints. Next, we can roll the body side by side. Try to bring knees all the way to the floor as we keep pushing our body a little bit back away from the hills. Make some space in between the perineum and hills. Now, elbow straight, grab the toes tightly. Deeply inhale, align the head and trunk. Deeply exhale as we bend down. Try to bring forehead onto the toes. Inhale, come back up. We will go the second round, a little bit longer duration. We can push the lower leg back with our elbows. So we can pull the trunk a little forward and down. Inhale, exhale normal with each exhalation. We can keep on pushing the trunk and head down. See if we can bring our chin onto the toes. So this is Vadda Konasan. Inhale, come back up. And cross leg. Bring both hands on the knees. And we will do 360 degree circle at the waist joint. So we can just bend forward as we fully exhale. Then we can Keep turning our upper body, put the trunk onto the one side, as we inhale, lift it up, lean backward, onto the other side, try to make the biggest circle possible, so exhale, bending forward, inhale, coming back up, three to four circles into one direction, then three to four circles into the opposite direction. Pay attention that, that on the side way also we are bending down as much as possible. You can close the eyes and each of the point you can feel the stretches at the waist. and come back. Now we can sit in any cross leg posture, whatever comfort you most, but try to keep the back straight. If you could do full lotus pose, Padmasan, that would be great because it automatically brings the back straight. We will bring both hands together on a side with full awareness as we breathe in, bring both hands up at the chest together in pranam, exhale, inhale again, lift both hands up, rest them onto over the head, exhale here, deeply inhale as we extend hands all the way up over the head, the whole upper body is stretched upward. We can inhale, exhale while in a pose, 
But as soon as we start lowering the pumps down, we should start exhalation. One big exhale can bring the pumps all the way down. Let's do two more times. Do with your own pace, with breath coordination and with full awareness. Once completed, bring both hands into Dhyan Mudra. We can touch first fingertip and thumb tip together or in some place I have seen you can touch the side of the first finger all the way at the top but side. So try it and, and if you are lucky, if you pay full attention, you may be able to Feel the pulses. Try it. We have to be completely still and maybe you can adjust the pressure between the thumb tip and fingertip, the side of the fingertip, all the way at the top, and shake the head if you if you able to feel the pulses. Nothing wrong if you cannot feel it, but maybe if you try today, tomorrow, maybe in a couple of days, you may be able to feel, you may be able to count the heartbeat. Deeply inhale and deeply exhale with closed eyes, relax the shoulders, pay full attention into breathing only. Let the awareness follow the breath. It enters into the nose, going a little bit further down, into the sinus area, going into throat, then chest area, second lobe of the lungs, and all the way down to the lower abdomen. That is the third lobe of the lungs. And same way when we empty them, try to keep full awareness and follow the breath pattern. No need to hold the breath, no need to use any force, slowly, but try to breathe deeply. Okay, breathe normal, open the eyes, when you breathe out fully. Next we will do Kapalbhati Pranayam. 
make a vayu mudra on both the hands roll first fingertip into root of thumb we will deeply inhale then we will exhale into multiple exhalations but do it forcefully forceful exhalation frequency you can keep as per your comfort level but deeply inhale fill up the lungs and we will exhale into multiple exhalations Once you fully breathe out, then relax and get 10 seconds into Sambhavi Mudra. Open up the palms toward the ceiling, tilt the head up slightly. Close the eyes and completely still the body. Keep awareness in between the eyebrows. At the Agnya Chakra, feel the vibrations, let them calm down. Let the energy sink into the body. and come back. Next we will do variation of Vastrika Pranayam. Make a fist at the shoulders, forcefully deeply inhale, both hands up, open up the fist, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. If you have a heart problem, blood pressure issue, do it slowly or you can avoid it. Again, Sambhavi Mudra for 10 seconds. And relax. Come back. So that was good enough warm up for today. Separate the legs out. Make sure the knees are straight. We are doing Upavishta Konasan as we inhale, look up, raise both hands up. Fully exhale, bend down, grab the feet. Try to push the head and trunk together as much as down as possible. Inhale, come back up. Second time, longer duration. Fully exhale, grab the feet as we bend down fully. Then we can inhale, exhale normal. But each exhalation, we can keep on pushing the trunk and head further down and down. Inhale, come back up. As we exhale, grab the big toe with the opposite side hand and lift the hand up as we inhale. Look up into the ceiling through the palm which is up. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, both hands up. And onto the other side. Inhale, raise the other hand up. 
look into the ceiling through that palm about seven seconds and down second round Complete the second side. Now fold at both the knees, both the palms on the floor in the middle. So we are doing turtle pose, Kurmasan. Keep pressing the hands out and we're going to try to straighten the knees as we bend down. Try to bring the trunk and head onto the floor. With each exhalation, we can keep on pushing the head down. Inhale, come back up. Bring both hands back together. Now, as we inhale, turn the shoulder blade towards one leg. As we exhale fully, bend down onto the leg. With both hands equally, try to get the foot and bring the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, come back up. Onto the other side, fully exhale. Try to bring forehead onto the knee. Inhale, come back up. We will do second time, longer duration. Fully exhale. Try to keep the knees straight as we try to push the head even further down and down with each exhalation. Make sure the foot is grabbed equally with both the hands. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, onto the other side. Make sure the knee is straight. We can fold the elbows to allow the shoulders to go a little bit further down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 2, 1. Inhale, come back up and bring the legs together. Bring palms slightly back and roll the toes in and out. Try to keep the knees straight and feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. Okay, relax the legs and bring the feet closer, align them. As we inhale, Raise both hands up, look up, we can lean slightly backward. Now fully exhale as we tuck the stomach in, apply the Uddhyana Bandha and grab the feet and try to push the head towards the knees. Hold the breath out, then come back, inhale deeply. Second time, more effectively. Tuck the stomach in and see if we can feel the thighs are pressing against the lower abdomen. When we can no longer hold the breath out, that point we can inhale, come back up and we can go backward. We will do Complementary pose, Purva Uttarasan, 
So if you have trouble keeping knees straight into that pose, you can fold at both the knees for the modified version of the Purva Uttanasan. Otherwise, you can just keep the knees straight, inhale, lift the trunk up, push the toes down, so heels and toes on the floor, drop the back behind, look at the back wall, elbow straight, You should practice this pose also during off time. Whenever you do practice yourself, try to stay half minute, one minute. And very slowly you can bring the body back into the L shape. You can keep the palms at the back. You can go on the heels. You can bend at the knees a little bit. As we inhale, lift the body up. Exhale. Push the body forward, inhale, bring it back, knee straight, exhale, push it down, all the way towards the feet, inhale up, third time, exhale down, fill the full stretches into the shoulders and back. Next we will do Vakrasan. Hold at the right knee, the right foot, close to the left knee, bring the right hand at the back, align it with the spine and try to keep as close as possible. You can do easy one, you can hug the knee or you can just bring the hand outward or you can push the knees all the way in and you can grab even the left knee. Fully exhale and look back. Align the chin with the shoulder, feel the full twist at the lower abdomen, inhale come back and transition onto the other side. So you can do any of the three version, but try to do with breath coordination. Inhale, come back. Next, we will do Ardhamachandrasan. So, sit just like in a Gomukhasan, but one knee go up, the other will, heel will be at the hip. Whichever knee is up, that side hand will go at the back. Inhale, raise the other hand up. Exhale bringing it around the knee, fully exhale, well look back, this one has even more twist compared to Vakrasan. Inhale, come back and transitioning onto the other side. and come back and we can sit into Vadrasan. We will sit in Virasan for few seconds. Try to keep the back straight. We can come back into the Vajrasan. We can separate the knees just a little bit out, not too far. We can say we can keep one, one fist in between. Make a tight fist, keeping thumbs inside while doing Mandukasan, frog pose. 
Deeply inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen. Then place top of the fist, not side of the fist, top of the fist in between the ribcage and navel. Now forcefully exhale while without leaving the heels. Drop the head and tongue down closer to the floor as much as possible. Then holding the trunk down, tilt the head up. Inhale, come back up. Second round, same sequence, tight fish, keeping thumbs inside. Deeply inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen. Place top of the fish at the position. Fully exhale. Push the head and tongue down. Holding the trunk down till the head up. Inhale, come back up. And next we'll do complementary pose. Going backward. So you can start, stay on a Vajrasan and you can go down. Or you can change to Virasan and then you can go down. So whichever way you like or you comfort with. Remaining instructions are pretty much same. So with folded elbows and palms, you can lay down onto the back and back of the head on the floor, but make sure the knees stays on the ground. You can move the shoulder blades away from each other in order to bring the portion of the back in between the shoulder blades also touching the floor. You can raise both hands up can bring the palms, can rest them onto the thighs. Try to relax the body, specifically the lumbar area, the hip joints, knees, thighs. Once you relax them, then you will feel some extra stretches. So whenever you need to come out of the pose, grab the ankles, push the elbows into the floor and bring the body up back into sitting posture. Next, we are going into a child pose. Separate both knees out in order to accommodate our stomach area. Both hands on a sideways, palm facing up. Deeply inhale and as we deeply exhale, bend down without leaving the heels. Try to bring forehead onto the floor and relax the shoulders, lower back, hip joints. You can deeply inhale and deeply exhale here. With next inhalation, raise the head up and bring the tr trunk back up into the Vajrasana again. Next, we will go on the knees. We will do backward bending. We will try to alternate backward, forward, backward, forward. So separate the knees and feet, same as the shoulder width or you can say the hip width. We will do half camel pose, bring both hands at the waist, fingertips pointing down, with deep inhalation look up, bend down, so we can see, look into the back wall, keep pushing the pelvis forward and keep pushing the elbows towards each other. Now holding all these three forces. As I do count down, you can increase the intensity even a little bit more. 10, 9, keep pushing pelvis forward, elbows together, dropping the head down. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very slowly come out of the pose. 
drop the hand down, then straighten the trunk and bring both palms onto the floor. Make sure the wrist joints are vertically under the shoulders and knees vertically under the hip joints. Into the tabletop pose. Let's do cat and cow pose. As we deeply inhale, look up. Also try to push the lower back up. Try to make the spine the downward arch. Fully exhale. Look at the navel, slightly bend the elbows so we can lower our shoulders down. Also try to lower the lower back. Try to make the spine upward arch. Inhale up again. Alternatively, do with your own pace. Do with breath in and out deeply. Try to make downward arch and upward arch respectively. So do two more times. This is called Marjorie Asan. In English, cat and cow. Okay. Now back to tabletop pose. Dip, inhale, exhale. With next inhalation, extend the left foot back and right hand forward. So the right arm and right leg parallel to the floor. Keep looking up. Now raise the leg even up higher. Raise the hand up. Deeply inhale. Now deeply exhale as we fold at the left knee and right elbow. Touch them together. Inhale. Separate them up. Exhale. Down together. Inhale up down together, inhale up and bring them back onto the floor. Inhale, exhale normal, couple of times. With next inhalation, extend the right foot back and left hand forward. Inhale, exhale normal, then raise the leg up even higher and up even higher, deeply inhale. Exhale, bring the knee and elbow together. Inhale, separate them. Exhale together. Third time, inhale up. Exhale together. Inhale up and bring them down onto the floor. Back to tabletop pose. And then we will go straight onto the knees. We will do simple gate pose without variation, but we will do two times. Extend the right leg out, the right hand onto the right leg, inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, keep bending onto the side way towards right while we keep looking into the ceiling. Slide the hand all the way down to the ankle, the left elbow remains straight. And keep pushing the left hand down. Exhale. And switch to the other side. Inhale. Raise the right hand up. Exhale. Look into the ceiling. Bend sideways towards left. Keep pushing the right hand down, right elbow straight. Inhale, come back up. And the second round. And on to the other side.
and come back. Baddha yoga poses, empty stomach hoi, they are bow comfort as a mathuru jo stomach name their avigu even a prep. I'm to empty the weapon chop, keuke liquid, eo hoito, a prep throw gap rakfano. For food, solid food, definitely minimum three hours. Let's stand up. Put this to do. Relax the feet, leg, thighs, hands, the whole body. Couple of times, go on the toes, go on the heels. And then as we deeply inhale, go on the toes and stay stay up interlock the fingers palms upside down exhale come down second round inhale up down and we will walk make two circles on the toes Walk around the mat and then two circles on the heels. Try to keep the knees as straight as possible. To do that we can make smaller steps. So Charlie, Chap Charlie Chaplin was expert walking that. Who can who can demo how Charlie Chaplin walk? Can anyone demo? Without spotlight. Good. Okay. So let's do Tiriyak Tadasan, swaying palm tree pose, fit. Just a little bit away from each other. Inhale, raise both hands up, palms upside down. As we exhale, bend onto the side, keep looking up into the ceiling. Fully exhale while we're bending. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale onto the other side. With fully exhalation, keep looking into the ceiling. Bend down, fill the hole, full stretches onto the one side, compression onto the other side. And I'll come back up. Second time, both the sides. And come back. Separate the feet, probably three to four feet apart. You can bring both hands at the waist. And we are making double zero. So one zero our, our waist area going to be making and another zero by our head. Try to bend on the side way as well. Specifically pay full attention. three to four circles into one direction and then reverse. You can coordinate with breathing as well. As we are leaning towards forward, we should exhale while coming back up, leaning backward or bending backward, we can inhale. Try to fill the full twist at the waist. And if you're done, just relax. Then we can separate the feet even further apart. 
and we will do waist rotation. We can bring both hands at the hips, holding the hips there straight. Inhale, just twisting the upper body. Look back, feel the full twist at the waist. Hold the breath out about 5 seconds. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale onto the other side. Second time, both sides. Okay. Next, we inhale in a star position. Exhale, grab the big toe with the opposite side hand. The other hand will go 90 degree up, not vertical but 90 degree up. Knees straight, elbow straight, look into the ceiling through the palm which is up. Inhale, come back, exhale onto the other side. Twisted triangle, about 7 seconds, then inhale, come back, second round. On the other side. Next, Parivrutta Trikonasan, revolving triangle. Just bring the hand outward of the ankle and other hand will go vertical. And look through the thumb, you can point the thumb towards front. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the other side. We can probably bend even further down and twist so we can look up. Revolving triangle pose. Prayavrutta Trikonasana. Second time. About seven seconds. Okay. Now bring fit together and relax a little bit. You can stand in a tarasan for a few seconds and let the old body parts go on their own. Just try to maintain the perfect balance. So we don't have to do much effort, so our body will be relaxed completely. Okay, good. Come back and separate the feet about 3 to 5 feet. Bend at the knees 90 degree. We can bring the palms onto the thighs, you can stay here, try to keep the back straight, come back up, knees straight for a few seconds and going down again, this is the second time and third time we will do a little bit knee exercise. Come back, then separate the knees a little bit, I mean the feet a little bit out. Then we can bend hands onto the thighs and we can straighten one knee and try to move our body left and right. So if you look at the level of the head, it is not going up and down, it is just moving horizontally. 
five, four, three, two, one, and come back. Relax the legs. Okay. Um, let's do super brain yoga up and down again. I know we did last Wednesday, but we can do zero to ten. And most maybe gonna sit down into squatting pose after that. But if you want to continue few more, you can continue. Wow, three people still going. Great, down to one, okay, down to zero. Okay, we can do some stretches here while we are sitting down. Both arms in one line, look up. And on to the other side. We can come back up. We can do Pastur Namaskar. So starting the fingertips pointing down, then we can change the direction towards upward and keep pushing up as high as possible. Thumbs can be interlocked. can separate the feet far apart as far as possible keeping the knees straight deeply inhale and turn towards one side deeply exhale bend down and try to bring forehead onto the knee inhale up onto the other side deeply fully exhale Come back. So now relax. Release the hands. You can interlock the fingers. Roll the shoulder blades down, back and down. Deeply inhale. As we deeply exhale, bend down. Push the palms away from the body. Let the trunk and head go down. Don't try to resist. Let them go on the gravity. Inhale, come back up and bend backward. And come back. Now, move the right toes out, 90 degree out. And we will do Paschim Namaskar. I mean, not Paschim Namaskar, Parsva Namaskar. So make a pranam and it, it might be moved a little bit but while we get into the pose bend the knee at 90 degree as we exhale let's rest the left elbow onto the right knee so both the lower arms and 
right lower leg will make one vertical line. So palms together still stays in front of the face. Inhale, come back onto the other side. And pull the knee at the 90 degree. And try to push the pelvis area down. And come back. Okay. Next, we'll do some balance poses. So, Vrikshasan tree pose. So, for the people who are unable to do that pose, maybe they can still keep the other, uh, the one leg a little bit up, or wherever they can bring it to. And others in a good full pose, you can bring the heel all the way up and the foot will be aligned with the inner thigh of the other leg. Both palms together, raise them up. You can keep gazing at the still object in front in order to maintain the proper balance. Slowly release the hands, both feet on the floor, and slowly transition onto the other side. Any balancing poses, try to get into the pose very slowly, don't rush. Next we can try to do Garudasan. So make sure one foot is firm on a floor. We can separate the toes out a little bit for the greater stability. The other foot will go back. We can lock it. Then we can intertwine both the arms and bring the body down. If we are able to, we can just bring the body up and down, up and down, we can do that way too. If we still have a good balance, if we try it on one, one side, we can try on the second side. Over here also, if you cannot bring our lap all the way around, we can just bring it to as much as we can. But advantage to bringing it all the way around is, it just get locked in a position. Garudasan, Eagle Pose. Okay. Next, while we are in a balancing pose, we can try um, Ardha Chandrasan. So, if you have a yoga block and depending on the difference between the fingertip to the floor, for in your case, you can just bring whatever size or whatever side of the block you made it and slowly we can just go onto the one leg and, and rest on that side hand onto the block other hand will be lifted up 
keep looking toward front so you could do that you if you have some other object like solid box or something you can use that too but you have to make sure that it's not gonna um, break it you could do without block too but it will be really difficult to go without block because hand will go all the way down to the floor and there is a chance that you might you won't be able to maintain the balance I'm seeing most of the people able to do this. Great. And for big beginning, you can use couch, sofa, a chair, or any other solid secure furniture. You can use it just for practice. Great. Yeah, Kinnery just tried without block. Good. Yeah, we, we all can try, but because the this length is, is high, right? And when we bend down, there will be room between fingertip and floor. So it is better to have some support. Okay, good. Now, let's lay down on stomach. Lay down in uh, Makarasan for 10 seconds. Relax the whole body. And then Viparita Nukasan, extend both hands forward, toes pointing towards back wall, both fit together. With next inhalation, Raise the hands, head, chest, chin. Pull both legs up as high as possible. Thighs away from the floor. Only the pelvis area, stomach area stays on the floor. And bring the body back down to the Makarasan, crocodile pose. Full relax. Next we will do Ardha Shalvasan, bring legs together, both palms under the thighs, raise the one leg up, keeping the knee straight, toes pointing out, hold it up as high as possible, you can even use the other leg to support the leg which is up. Make sure the chest, chin, shoulder blade on the floor. Relax the lower back. Very slowly bring both the legs onto the floor and transition to the other side. Relax the lower back while the leg is up. And bring both legs back onto the floor. Lay down in Makarasan.
Next we will do Dhanurasan bow pose with variation. So we are going to cross our hands at the back, hold at both the knees and grab right to left, left to right, the legs and raise the head, chest chin up as we pull legs up as high as possible. We can add the intentional rocking movement or it will be natural as we breathe in and out. That is great so we can have some internal organ massage into the abdomen. Look as high as possible towards the wall in front and continue pulling the legs up. Then very slowly Again, bring both feet on the floor and lay down in a makarasan, crocodile pose for 10 seconds, full relax. Okay. Next, we will try to do dolphin pose. Bring both palms on the floor, both elbows on the floor. So the lower arms are parallel to each other. Both legs together. We are going over here onto the toes. So it is just like, just like a low plank. But instead of just having the palms, we have the whole lower arms on the floor. We can maintain our body vertical. And back onto the floor. Lay down in a makarasan for 10 seconds. Next we will go Chaturanga Dandasan or the low plank. So the whole body is in a one straight line, only the palms and toes on the floor. And lay down into the Makarasan. Okay, next we will do high plank, then side plank, side plank is Vasishthasan, so first we will do the high plank, on the palms and toes, but difference is over here, elbows are straight, so this is high plank, so the legs and trunk will be in one line, from here we are slowly transitioning into side plank. So bring one foot on top of other, move the one palm just directly under the head and raise the other hand up. Look into the ceiling through the palm which is up. Both the elbow straight, both knees straight and look into the ceiling. Over here also we can do extension over here, you can grab the toe we can lift it up. The variation in the Vasishthasan and bring the body back. So first few seconds we will lay down into crocodile pose then we will transitioning onto the other side. Okay, on to the other side. So first, 
into the high plank for few seconds. Then switching into side plank. This is Varshasthasan. Can look into the ceiling through the palm which is up. And we can just grab the big toe and lift the leg up. And very slowly bring the body down and lay down into Makarasan, crocodile pose. Next, let's turn around and lay down on the back. Let's give body a big stretch, full stretch, Ustikasam stick pose. Full stretch, feel our body is elongated a couple of inches along with the floor and relax bring both hands on the side and lift the trunk up with head about 60 degree and raise both legs up 60 degree with the floor try to bring the toes closer to the fingers Look into the toenails through the fingernails. Elbow straight, knee straight. Then very slowly bring the body back onto the floor. Into Shavasan. Spread both hands away from the body. Fingers semi close, palms facing ceiling, toes pointing out. Feet are separated two to three feet and most importantly all the body parts should be completely relaxed. It should not be holding any muscles, any joints, any body parts. Next we will do Pavan Muktasan. Hold at the right knee, grab the right knee with both the hands. With next exhalation, raise the head up and try to bring the right knee and face closer to each other while we hold the breath out. As long as we can hold the breath out, hold in a pose. Then inhale, bring the head back onto the floor, straighten the right leg. Now fold at the left knee and do Pavan Muktasan with left leg folded. Fully exhale. Bring face and left knee closer to each other. Hold them together as long as we can hold the breath out. Inhale. Bring head back onto the floor. Leg straight, lay down into Shavasan for 10 seconds. Today, let's do few of the advanced poses. We could do Shirshasan, that's the inversion. You can do with the support of the wall or without support but at least you can try um, we can do kakasan we can do mayurasan so let's spend about three minutes and we can complete several of the poses 
And while you do that, maybe I can bring people on a spotlight. And if you want to try to follow any of them, you can do that. Because I can do this for this one by one. But on screen, I can bring them up if someone doing. Okay, I think uh, Dakshaben did Shirshasan. Looks like she was able to do it without support. Great. So I think, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Her body probably need a little bit straightened, vertical, but she was able to maintain the balance. Great. Let's see who else is doing. Oh, wow, there are another person holding a pose. I am keep adding, but my issue is I am not able to see the whole pose fully, but at least, oh, Kinnery did too, awesome, yeah, without support, wonderful, actually she probably, um, yeah, she had, she practiced a lot and able to do this, great, okay, uh, anyone doing Kakasan or Mayurasan, go ahead and do that. Piyush, you could do probably um, Mayurasan. Great. Yeah, Kinnari, I think you, you mastered this because your body was completely vertical and straight. Once, if you did this inversion, just make sure the head stays down for a few seconds or you can lay down in a shavasan. That would be great. Just flat. And I think Piyush is trying Kakasan. Pretty much success. Great. Wow, I'm seeing more and more people doing advanced poses now. Great. Anyone else? Uh, I probably need to go back to gallery view to see. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Uh, no. Great. Okay. So after this pose, this lay down in a shavasan for few seconds. Next we will do Nataraj pose. So we can raise the right leg up, fold at the right knee, grab the right big toe with the left hand and bringing the right foot onto the floor towards left side. The left leg remains straight along with the trunk. Extend the right hand out onto the right side perpendicular to the floor and twist the body towards right and look into the right palm but make sure the right foot stays on the left on touching the floor. Feel the full twist. Slowly come back, straighten both the legs and transition onto the other side. Natrajasan. Once you grab the toe, then you can straighten the knee. Then you can drop the left foot onto the floor. Extend the left hand out towards left, 90 degree with the body. And twist the body towards left and look into the left palm. The right leg will remain straight, aligned with the body. Great, and lay down into Shavasan. Mm. 
Next we will do leg rotation. Bring both legs together, palms down, closer to the hips to support the body. Raise the one leg up, keeping the knee straight, toes pointing out and start rotating for three circles, three, two, the biggest circle possible, one and then reverse, one, two, three and relax it. Now switch to the other leg, one, two, make sure knee remains straight, toes pointing out and then reverse, three, two, one. Straighten both the legs. Now we are doing both legs together. Hold the body with help of the palms. Lift both legs up, knees straight, toes pointing out and start rotating. Biggest circle possible. The legs are completely aligned. Two, three and reverse, three, two and one. Now lay down into Shavasan for 10 full seconds. Feel the relaxation coming out of the legs. Great. So let's all do Matsyasan next. So lift the trunk and head up and hold the trunk up, up in the air and bring top of the head back onto the floor. You can do this with cross leg or you can keep the leg straight. But try to keep the palms under the thighs. Stay in Matsyasan. For 10 more seconds while I bring up the Yoga Nidra audio. So whenever possible try to get ready for yoga nidra, you can prepare yourself up, make any final adjustment, you may want to turn the lights down or off completely or you can just cover yourself up. Once yoga nidra gets started, then you try to be completely still, follow the word by word instructions. So starting now. अब आप गहरी सांसें लेना शुरू करें गहरी सांस अंदर और बाहर एक बार फिर से गहरी सांस अंदर और बाहर पुनः एक बार अंदर आती हुई सांस आपको ताजगी दे रही है शक्ति दे रही है और बाहर जाती हुई सांस आपके तनाव टेंशन तकलीफों को आपसे दूर ले जा रही है और अब आपका मन शांत तो होने लगा है आसपास के आवाजों के साक्षी बनिए उनके साथ कोई लड़ाई नहीं करनी है सिर्फ उनको सुनना है एक साक्षी भाव 
और अब धीरे धीरे आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ने लगा है और जो जो आपका शरीर ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन शांत होने लगा है जो भी हो रहा है उसको होने दें किसी भी अनुभव को जज ना करें अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पैर की उंगलियों पे ले जाएं, लेफ्ट टोस एंड राइट टोस उसको अपने मन की आंखों से देखें महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपने ध्यान को अपने दोनों एंकल्स या टखनों पे ले जाएं, एंकल में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और ढीला छोड़ें आपके दोनों टखने विश्राम कर रहे हैं अब अपनी चेतना को धीरे से अपने दोनों पिंडलियों या काफ मसल्स पे ले जाएं। वहां की संवेदनाओं के साक्षी बनिए और धीरे से दोनों पिंडलियों को ढीला छोड़ें शिथिल करें आपके घुटने के नीचे का भाग शिथिल हो चुका है ढीला हो चुका है रिलैक्स हो चुका है इस विश्राम को अपने अंदर अनुभव करिए अपनी चेतना को अब अपने दोनों जांघों पर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट थाई एंड राइट थाई वहां की मांसपेशियों को महसूस करें वहां मौजूद टेंशन को स्ट्रेस को देखें और ढीला छोड़ें दोनों जांग रिलैक्स हो चुके हैं शिथिल हो चुके हैं अब अपनी चेतना को दोनों कूल्हों के ऊपर ले जाएं, लेफ्ट हिप एंड द राइट हिप एंड रिलैक्स द मसल्स ऑफ योर हिप्स एंड थाइस कूल्हे की मांसपेशियां ढीली हो रही हैं रिलैक्स हो रही हैं अब अपनी चेतना को अपने पेट और कमर के निचले हिस्से पे ले जाएं, उसको महसूस करें देखें और ढीला छोड़ें अब अपनी चेतना को अपनी छाती पर लाइए छाती की मांसपेशियों को ढीला छोड़ें आराम दें विश्राम दें अब अपनी चेतना को पीठ के ऊपरी हिस्से पे लाइए वहां मौजूद तनाव के साक्षी बने उसको देखें और ढीला छोड़ें पूरा शरीर ढीला हो रहा है रिलैक्स्ड हो रहा है और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है इस विश्राम के साक्षी बनिए अब अपनी चेतना को अपने दोनों कंधे लेफ्ट शोल्डर एंड द राइट शोल्डर पर लाएं। दोनों कंधे विश्राम कर रहे हैं ढीले हो रहे हैं 
रिलैक्स हो रहे हैं अपने ध्यान को अब अपनी दाई बाह और बाई बाह के ऊपर ले जाएं। पुट योर अटेंशन ऑन लेफ्ट आर्म एंड राइट आर्म देखें महसूस करें ढीला छोड़ें हाथ की उंगलियों को भी ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करने दें और जो जो आपकी मांसपेशियां रिलैक्स कर रही हैं आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में डीप रिलैक्सेशन में उतरता चला जा रहा है अब अपने ध्यान को अपने गर्दन के ऊपर ले जाएं, गर्दन में मौजूद तनाव को टेंशन को महसूस करें और गर्दन के रेशे रेशे को ढीला छोड़ें आराम करने दें आप एक गहन विश्राम में उतरते जा रहे हैं जो विचार आए उन विचारों को आने दें उससे कोई लड़ाई नहीं करनी उससे कोई झगड़ा नहीं करना अपनी चेतना को अपने चेहरे के ऊपर ले जाएं, दाई आंख बाई आंख ऊपर का होठ नीचे का होठ आपके गाल और संपूर्ण चेहरा चेहरे के सारे मांसपेशियों को विश्राम करने दें ढीला छोड़ें और अब आप अपनी चेतना को सिर के पिछले हिस्से पे ले जाएं और सिर के पिछले हिस्से को पूरी तरह से ढीला छोड़ें रिलैक्स करें ज्यो ज्यो आपका शरीर रिलैक्स हो रहा है आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता चला जा रहा है और जो जो आपका मन गहन विश्राम में जा रहा है आपके शरीर की मांसपेशियां और शिथिल हो रही हैं और ढीली पड़ रही हैं संपूर्ण बायां पैर शिथिल हो चुका है संपूर्ण दायां पैर रिलैक्स्ड हो चुका है ढीला पड़ चुका है पेट छाती की मांसपेशियां आराम कर रही हैं विश्राम कर रही हैं संपूर्ण पीठ की मांसपेशियां ढीली पड़ रही हैं रिलैक्स्ड पड़ रही हैं गर्दन विश्राम कर रहा है चेहरा ढीला पड़ रहा है सिर का हिस्सा पूरी तरह से शिथिल हो चुका है अब आप किसी ऐसी जगह को इमेजिन करें जहां पे कि आप आराम से विश्राम कर सकते हैं कि कोई बीच हो सकता है समंदर का किनारा हो सकता है या ये कोई गार्डन हो सकता है वहां आराम से लेट जाए इमेजिन करिए कि आप एक गार्डन में लेटे हुए हैं और यहां की ताजी हवा आपको और विश्राम दे रही है तितलियां आपके आसपास उड़ रही हैं और जब आप इनको देखते हैं तो आपका मन शांत हो रहा है ठंडी हवा के झोंके आपके शरीर को एक मसाज दे रहे हैं नरम नरम घासों को अपने शरीर से छूते हुए महसूस करें आप इस टेम्परेचर को इंजॉय कर रहे हैं और आपका मन एक गहन विश्राम में उतरता जा रहा है 
जो भी तनाव आपके शरीर में था इमेजिन करिए वो भाप की तरह आपके शरीर से उड़ता जा रहा है और आपका शरीर और ढीला पड़ रहा है आपका मन और शांत हो रहा है इस स्टेट में मैं आपको कुछ सजेशंस देता हूं अपने मन में पूरे कन्विक्शन के साथ पूरी दृढ़ता के साथ पूरी मजबूती के साथ ये दोहराएं कि मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल मैं शक्तिशाली हूं आई एम पावरफुल आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग हेल्दी मैं स्वस्थ हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग रिच मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं मैं धनवान हो रहा हूं आई एम बिकमिंग सक्सेसफुल मैं सफल बन रहा हूं और इसी आनंद को महसूस करते हुए इस रिलैक्सेशन का आनंद लेते हुए ये जानते हुए कि ब्रह्मांड की सबसे बड़ी शक्ति आपके साथ हमेशा है और हमेशा रहेगी अब आप वापस आने के लिए तैयार हैं अब मैं एक से पांच गिनूंगा मेरे पांच गिनने के साथ साथ आप धीरे से अपनी आंखें खोलेंगे एक आसपास की आवाजों को सुनना शुरू करें दो अपने शरीर को थोड़ा थोड़ा हिलाना शुरू करें तीन अपने पैरों को मोड़ लें चार अपने शरीर को हिलाएं डुलाएं और पांच यू कैन रेज बोथ हैंड्स अप एंड यू कैन ब्रिंग इट डाउन ऑन टू द फ्लोर गिव बॉडी अ बिग स्ट्रेच उष्टिकासन स्टिक पोज फोल एट बोथ द नीज रब बोथ द पाम्स टुगेदर जनरेट हिट Place the warm hands over the eyes and face. Move the palms over the eyes. Open and close eyes few times. Slide the hands down. Gently open the eyes and roll the body onto the right side. Stay on right for about two to three normal breaths. Then, with help of both the palms, bring the body up. back into any comfortable sitting posture and we are just getting ready for some cooling down pranayam we will do anulom vilom pranayam on right hand make a vishnu mudra roll first to fingertip into root of thumb deeply inhale on left deeply exhale on right deeply inhale on right and deeply exhale on left so left to right right to left alternatively
Okay, complete the cycle when you breathe out on left. Next we will do Brahmari Pranayam. Three Brahmari Pranayam followed by Sambhavi Mudra for 10 seconds. So we can close the ear canal, block the eyes and press the nostrils down. Okay, relax, come back. Next we will do eye exercise. So take the glasses off if you are wearing. Just assume that we have a clock in our eyes. So we are going to keep our face completely straight. We are just raising the eyeballs into the 12 position. And we are just going to move the eyeballs into circular fashion move into the position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, second round, 1, 2, the farthest point 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Third round, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Close the eyes, deeply inhale, hold the breath, squeeze and release the eyes few times. Now open the eyes and release the breath. Now again, we are doing the reverse circle. Again, head straight. Raise the eyeball into 12 position. And 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. Deeply inhale, hold the breath, close the eyes. Holding the breath, just squeeze eyes and release. Squeeze and release eyes while keeping them closed. Release the breath, open the eyes. Bring the hand, one of the hand forward, keeping the thumb out. Look at the thumb tip, one common point on the thumb tip. Keep bringing thumb closer. Keep on gazing at the same point all the way at the nose. Very slowly, inch by inch, bringing the thumb out. As we keep on looking at the same point all the way out. And do one more time. Inch by inch, bringing the thumb closer all the way at the nose while keep looking with both eyes in the same point. Going out, now look at the farthest point in a wall, 
all the way out and immediately look at the nose tip with both the eyes now again look at all the way out at the farthest point in the wall in front and all the way look at the nose with both the eyes now close the eyes rub the palms make the palms warm Place the warm hands over the eyes, move the palms onto the eyes, gently massage the eyelids, open and close eyes few times in dark, very slowly slide the hand down, open the eyes. Okay, we have about 3 minutes, let's complete the session with our usual closing process, both palms on top of each other, relax the shoulders, back straight. We will chant three Mahamrutinja Mantra, close the eyes now till the end and we will do a short meditation followed by the Omkar chanting and closing prayer. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanan Mrutyor Mukshiyama Mrutat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukameva Bandhanan Mrutyor Mukshiyama Mrutat Om Trayambakam Bakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Purva Rukumeva Bandhanan Rutyor Mukshiyama Mruta Try to keep awareness into crown of the head, the Sahasrara Chakra. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Padrani Pashyantu Ma Kaschit Dukhabhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Rabbu Pam again Jandrat Urja Place the warm hands over the eyes and face, move the palms over the eyes, gently massage the eyelids, open and close the eyes under the palms few times, very slowly slide the hands down as we gently open the eyes, rub the palms one more time, place the warm hands on top of the head, back of the head, shoulders, the arms, trunk and the whole body to spread the energy within the body. Haryom Tatsat Sri Gurubhyo Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Good Evening 
and I'm going to let you guys unmute. Okay, you can unmute. So, that concludes the session. Thank you. 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 Thank you.